Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm really glad that you joined me today. I want to talk to you about a serious matter, and it's a matter of life and death, and uh, the last things that happen in a person's life. When I started in the ministry, the first person that I went to minister to was a, a man who had been diagnosed with ALS. We used to call that Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a disease that takes away a person's ability to use the muscles in their body. And for each person who um, contracts this disease, uh, it's a little bit different. Sometimes it starts in the feet or legs, and sometimes it starts in the voice. Uh, but in any case, they don't know what causes it, and they don't know how to treat it or cure it. So when when a person gets this disease, it's like a, a death sentence. It's like a, a word that you uh, have this disease, we can't cure it, we can try to make you comfortable, but it's progressive and you're not going to be able to uh, move or even speak at some point in uh, your last days. And the reason I wanted to talk to you is, you know, whenever you get a word like that, that you or a loved one is got a very serious disease, where do you turn? I mean, how do you deal with that? You know, the first thing that happens when you're told that you're dying with some disease is you feel like your life's already over. It's like you, you're faced with the reality that you're not going to live forever. And that's, for many people, kind of a shock. The other thing that happens is when you're told that you're going to be dying sometime is you realize that your life no longer has the same meaning or purpose that it used to have. And you kind of lose your personal identity. You ever been there or know somebody that's been through that? It's really difficult. For us who are friends of somebody that's going through it, we often wonder, what in the world should I say? I'm going to make a suggestion. Just be there and shut up. Don't necessarily have all the wise counsel or advice or tell people what they should do or shouldn't do. Just be there and be quiet and listen. Okay? That's probably one of the best things you can do. Yeah, you can let them know you love them and you care about them. But don't offer them a lot of advice. Don't try to criticize and correct them or tell them, well, if you'd have done this or hadn't done that, you probably wouldn't get it. Don't do it. Just, just be there. And the other thing is this. When you are a believer in Jesus Christ, even if you get news like that, you and I can remember this. God holds you in his hand. He's not ever going to leave you, and he'll never forsake you. You'll never really be alone. Sometimes when you go through things like that, people will pull away from you because they don't know what to say and they're afraid they'll say the wrong thing. Maybe they mean well, but you actually just need them to just be there and be your friend. Sometimes when people uh, go through things like that, people will uh, come and say things that they really shouldn't like. Well, if you die, you're going to go off to a better place or... Uh, when you die, at least you won't be in pain anymore. And you know what? It's just not the most helpful thing to say. Just be a friend and be there, okay? Um, my series that I've been presenting is on living hope. I want you to know this. When you're a believer in Jesus Christ, even if you're being faced with the end of this life, your physical life now, there is so much more to life than what we see and experience in this body. Jesus said it this way, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me shall live even if he dies. You know what? It's not over. Yogi Berra used to say, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> and he was right. In a spiritual sense, he was absolutely right. Because the end of this physical life is not the end of your spiritual life. Now here's the deal. If you're a believer, the end of this physical life means you're going to just change address and leave this body and go to heaven, and you're going to continue to live, only live without the pain and the limitations of your current body. 
if you are a believer, you don't have anything to worry about. If you're not a believer, well, you have some things to worry about because the end of this life is not the end. You're going to be in a situation where you're separate from God. I want to offer living hope to anyone who will receive it. The living hope, his name is Jesus Christ. Put your faith and trust in him and know that no matter what you go through in this life, he will never leave you, he'll never forsake you, and he offers you the real promise of eternal life. That means, even kids know, forever life. We love you, and uh, whatever you're going through, just know this, we're there for you. And uh, we hope you come and check us out. God bless you.